trial tonight in Arizona's fight against illegal immigration. It appears more Mexicans who came to the U.S. to find work are going back. New census data from Mexico shows of the 1.1 million people who left Mexico in the past five years, 351,000 have returned. That means nearly a third of them are going back to Mexico. A decade ago, about 17% of the migrants who left Mexico returned. Illegal immigration, again, stirring up controversy at the state capitol. This time it's all over a letter read on the floor of the Senate by a Republican senator. Now, the writer of the letter claims to be a substitute teacher in the Valley, and he makes broad generalizations about the Hispanic students he taught, that they hate America and refuse to say the Pledge of Allegiance, that they are here to reclaim the area from Mexico, that they all want to join gangs. Yeah, it's incendiary stuff here, and Democrats want to know if the letter is really credible and why it's even relevant. 3TV's Frank Camacho has the debate from Capitol Hill. This letter uh, made some comments that, unfortunately, has really caused a firestorm uh, without or throughout our communities. This is the source of the controversy. An unsigned letter read last week by Senator Lori Klein, which she said was sent to every GOP senator by Senate President Russell Pierce. I want to thank Senator Klein for reading that powerful letter uh, last week. But Senator Gallardo remains suspicious of the letter's validity, in which a substitute teacher claims the majority of his Latino students wanted to grow up to be gang members. We have an obligation to find out if it is true. And I would ask members to, to join me in this quest to find out the facts in regards to the letter. Another victim of the immigration debate is the solidarity of the GOP majority in the Senate. But the ones that I'm getting are mostly, um, they were supportive of the bills, and they're angry at the Republicans that, that voted against the bills probably about two to one. Last week, about 10 Senate Republicans broke ranks and sided with Democrats to defeat a package of five illegal immigration bills. Senator Ron Gould predicts those senators will face the wrath of their constituents. But one of those senators says his emails are running four to one in support of his vote. And that's, that's remarkable because, as I said, the majority of the people, when they're happy, they leave you alone, and when they're upset, they contact you. So, so to see those percentages from my district is, um, is pleasantly surprising. I'm Frank Camacho for 3TV. Coming up.